cost of everything is really increasing. I think we all realize that. Whatever country of the world that we're living in, everything seems to cost more today than it did yesterday. I can't think of a time in my entire life when things just increasingly got less expensive. It costs less to own a home. It costs less to own a car. It costs less to go out to eat. It costs less for clothing. It costs less for tuition, whether it's in high school, college, trade school, everything, whether it's education or whether it's entertainment, whatever it is, it seems to cost more. I think you'll probably agree. I'd like to address that issue of things costing more from the perspective of the president of an institution that's striving to keep the cost of theological distance education at its very optimum for men and women in ministry. Hi, I'm Dennis Fry, and I'm president of Masters International University of Divinity. You know, I earned my graduate degree and my doctoral degree in probably one of the worst times to pick to go on for higher education. It was in the early 1980s. Interest on home loans, incredibly, was as high as 17 and even 18 percent. And on a pastor's salary, I just didn't have the kind of income that was required to go on for additional ministry training. I already had graduated from Bible College. I'd used all of my GI Bill as a happy and really proud U.S. Navy veteran. I was so thankful that the GI Bill was there in my last two years of Bible College. But you know what? There came a time in my life when I realized I needed to know more, and I needed to know it in a formal way, in a structured way, in a guided way. But we just really didn't have the income. We barely had the income. We might make it work. So it really wasn't that we didn't have the income, it's that we didn't have much of an income. And yet, as I prayed, it seemed that God was leading me to go on for further education. I couldn't see then what I can see now. I had to trust that if God was leading, well, like the old time saying goes, when God orders anything, he pays the bill. But we still have to be prudent about how we spend our income. I'll tell you how I did it. I was faithful to my studies, and God was faithful to get the, to get the money to me through whatever means it was. Sometimes it was a gift from someone unexpectedly. Sometimes it was an unexpected refund. But most of the time, you know what it was? It was stretching the food budget. It was stretching the gas bill for the car. It was saying no to some things that would have been a lot of fun to do, but were not the thing that God had called me to do. And in the end, I graduated debt free. It wasn't easy. You know, I was in our beautiful backyard this morning. My wife and I have enjoyed having our breakfast out of doors when the weather permits for a long time. And as we prayed and studied the scripture and looked at the beauty of the world around us, it just seemed to me like the scripture was so clear that as beautiful as this backyard was, all these flowers, this wonderful grass, is all going to turn brown by the time we get into late fall and early winter. It reminded me of the words of Isaiah the prophet, the grass withers, the flowers fade, but the word of our God stands forever. You know, so many of the things that we work so hard for and we put so much of our income into, technology, computers, iPhones, big appliances, automobiles, even the food we eat, especially if it's what we call junk food, all of those things just cost so much money. But in the end, they all wind up in the very same place. They wind up in the junkyard. And yet we've worked so hard to pay for them. They were just have to have items at the time. And yet they go out of style or they quit working or they just wear out or something better comes along and we have another just have to have. For most people, even those of us who've lived on a very modest budget, we have closets and attics filled with things that we no longer use that maybe we needed at the time, but the duration of their usefulness wore out and we really didn't need them anymore. 
Now, if we sell them, we'll practically give them away compared to what we paid for them. But there is one thing that we can invest in that will never stop paying dividends, that will never wear out, and that is our knowledge of the Word of God. It will never stop giving dividends to us, giving blessings and benefits to us, not so that we can consume them on ourselves totally, although they are good for us, but those of us who are in or training for Christian ministry or wanting to do better in the ministry God's called us to, the study of the Word of God, the cost of that education is something that will continue to pay dividends now and in eternity. The grass does wither, the flowers fade, but the Word of our God stands forever. If God has laid on your heart a desire that keeps coming back, that just won't seem to go away, to go on for further ministry training, I'll tell you, we have a program that's just right for you. And we have a payment plan, payment options, to make it as easy as possible. It can't be 100% easy. It does have to cost us something. But we have plans that make it possible for you to pick a study level that will get you started and take you all the way through to graduation. I'm not sure how this particular idea, these thoughts, impact your thinking, because each situation is different. But if you're anywhere near where I was, and my wife and I were at that time back then, when we had to struggle to make ends meet, not that we don't now, but that we really struggled and we had to sacrifice something in order to go on for additional ministry training. If that's where you are right now, even if you're, well, even if you're not a young person anymore, if God's calling you to do it, he will provide the resources necessary. We have a program. We have a study plan. If God's not in it, then you don't want it. But if God is in it, take that step of faith and let God show you how he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask or think. I believe God will provide for you as he provided for us. Remember, the grass withers, the flowers fade, but the word of our God stands forever.